Hey there guys, thanks for watching our video. My name is Alex Ridzak and together with the help of my classmate Mike Sinto, we have put together the short how-to video in order to demonstrate a basic point-to-point -point wireless client bridge setup with DDWRT. Mike and I both go to the Syracuse University School of Information Studies and we're in Professor Dave Malta's IST 448 Enterprise Wireless Network Technologies class. In order to demonstrate where using a point-to-point -point wireless bridge might be useful, we have established a basic network and accompanying diagram. In this scenario, the room on the left represents a single building. The people in charge of this building are running a basic wired Ethernet network. We have laptop number one plugged in via one of the Ethernet LAN ports on the back of DDWRT router number one. On the right, the second box represents a second building. The people in charge of this second building are running a basic wired Ethernet network also in which laptop number two is plugged in via the Ethernet LAN port on the back of the DDWRT router labeled number two. Note that it is possible to instead connect the clients to their bridge by using wireless instead of wired networks, but this requires twice the amount of routers and the networking begins to get a bit complicated beyond the scope of this basic how-to. To keep things simple, we are saying that the two building owners want to share a single network connection and allow everyone in both buildings to be on the same network at the same time, but the cost of running fiber between the buildings is prohibitively expensive. So what can they do? In this case, they can actually create a link between the two buildings via Wi-Fi. Notice in our diagram that the DDWRT router on the left in the first building is connected to the internet via an ethernet cable going to the WAN interface on that router. We have done this because we will actually be serving internet to building number two via the wireless link to building number one. In reality, these wireless links can be fairly long distance, over 300 meters, but in our case, we are using older hardware, so our link was established between room 025 in the iSchool, serving as building number one, and room 018 in the iSchool, serving as building two, a total distance of just over 100 feet. So, let's get started by taking a look at building number one. The router shown here is DDWRT router number one. It also represents the root side of our wireless bridge. The root side of the wireless bridge serves the non-root side of the bridge. In the picture here, the blue ethernet cable is running from our WAN port on the router to our internet connection. The purple ethernet cable is going from our LAN port one on the router to our laptop client. We will first log into the default IP address of this router. In our case, it is 192 .168.1.1. One of the very important things to remember throughout this process is that this bridge relies heavily on matching configuration settings. The first one we will set is under wireless, wireless security. Here we are setting our router into WPA2 personal mode using the AES algorithm. Our shared key will be the word bridge bridge, all lowercase, no spaces. We will now go to the wireless basic settings menu. Because there will be no legacy devices on our bridge, we can safely set the wireless network mode to G only. Newer routers will be able to set their settings to utilize the N standard. Now we change our wireless network name or SSID. In this case we have it set to building-bridge. We are also setting our wireless channel to number 6. Under setup, basic setup, we name our router building-bridge hit save and apply our settings. This concludes the setup required on the building one side of our network. Here is the router located in building two. In the picture here, the yellow ethernet cable is running from our LAN port number one on the router direct to our laptop client. There is no other connection being made. The majority of our setup process takes place here on the non-root side of our network. You will notice that we will match many of the settings as the first router, but with a few key differences. We're going to get started by logging into router number two's IP address. In this case, it is 192.168.1.1. It is important to note that both router one and router two are using 192.168.1.1 as their IP address. This is a problem. Recall that our bridge will be used to share the same network across two buildings. This means each building will be in the same subnet. Because of this, we cannot have two conflicting IP addresses. DDWRT conveniently starts our DHCP leases 
at 192.168.1.100 so we can have between 192.168.1.1 and 192.168.1.99 to set our network devices on without the worry that an IP address conflict will occur. With this said, we will first go to Setup, Basic Setup, and change our router's name to match that of the first one. In our case, we chose Building-Bridge. Now we will set our router IP to 192.168.1.2 in order to allow both routers to exist on the same network without any issues. You may now be prompted to enter a username and password. Do so and click on Wireless Basic Settings. Here we will mirror the setup of the first router with several exceptions. Under Wireless Mode, select Client Bridge from the drop-down menu. Under Wireless Network Mode, we will select G only to match the first router settings. We will set our SSID of Router 2 to Builder-Bridge and our channel to number 6, just like we did on Router number 1. We will also now set our ACT timing to 0 because we are bridging a distance of less than 300 meters. Now we will go to Wireless wireless security. These settings will completely match those of the first router. We set our primary security mode to WPA2 personal, our algorithm to AES, and our shared key as the word bridge bridge. One word, no spaces in between. At this time, we'll now go to security, firewall. Here we will uncheck the options block anonymous WAN requests and filter IDENT. In addition, we will also disable the SPI firewall. Because we now have more than one router on the same subnet, we have to go to Setup, Advanced Routing to tell the router to move from Gateway or Internet Gateway mode to just Router mode. Our configuration on Router 2 is now finished. All that remains is to join the two halves of the bridge together. Click on Status and then Wireless and scroll down to the bottom and then hit Site Survey. If the bridge was properly configured, you will see the SSID of building-bridge broadcasting on the channel we set it to previously. Click the blue join button on the right. If everything goes well, you will receive a success message. To see the signal strength of our bridge and to further verify connectivity, just go back to status and then wireless, scroll down to the bottom. As you can see, our second access point appears under wireless nodes complete with a MAC address and signal strength readings. To prove that we have connectivity across the bridge, we can ping the router in building number one from inside building number two. Simply open a command prompt and ping the address of router one. In our case, router one is 192.168.1.1. And as you can see, we have connectivity to the other router. As far as internet access goes, it may take just a bit longer to come up, but it will eventually be there as well. As you can see here, we were able to ping Google successfully, and a trace route to Google shows that our internet connection is passing across the bridge through the first router in building one to get out to the internet. Keep in mind the laptop we are on at the moment is not wirelessly connected to any access points, nor is the DDWRT router plugged into any ethernet WAN source. We are simply getting internet delivered across our bridge. Well guys, now that we've successfully linked building number one and building number two with our basic point-to-point -point wireless client bridge setup using DDWRT, we've reached the end of our video demonstration. Feel free to leave us a comment in the box below. Let us know what you guys think.